As we start the month of September, fall allergies are already here. We're seeing pollen back on the pollen counters. Dr. Travis Miller, director of the allergy station, says the smoke from recent wildfires is making the air even worse. The smoke has essentially covered us as a blanket. They're just laying on top of each other. So we have this blanket of smoke that's laying anywhere from two feet to 800 feet off the ground and mixed in there is weed pollen allergy, grass pollen, all these particles that are sitting there. Making this season especially bad for people with allergies. Dr. Miller says sensitive breathing groups should not go outside at all if possible. Seconds or minutes of exposure can be can trigger asthma attack. And you don't have to be in a sensitive group for the smoke to affect you, even on a short walk or jog outside at the park. All of these particles are just bombarding our airways, our eyes, our skin. Dr. Miller says we should all minimize time outside, especially if the AQI is over 100. We're obviously all wearing face coverings and masks. Um, those don't um, take out the PM 2.5, the small particle. During this pandemic, you may be wondering, how do I know if a cough or itchy throat is allergies and smoke related or COVID-19? One defining symptom that I think could separate, you probably won't have a fever with smoke inhalation. That's a very uncommon symptom of smoke inhalation. But Dr. Miller says if you have a fever, cough, and shortness of breath, you should definitely contact your doctor. In Sacramento, Lisa Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.